Hey, what is going on, Nightmare Corner family? So I got a pretty cool video for you guys today, and uh, we're going to be looking at two scenes that were deleted from Jaws. And I, I kind of have the video up on my screen so I can talk about it because I'm going to also edit the video here so we can kind of look at the same thing um, as I talk about it and stuff like that. But before we get into the video, um, I went to Walmart today to just do some shopping, and I passed the pet aisle because, uh, you know, we got a bunch of animals here. But it was like kind of a coincidence because I'm doing a Jaws video today. I'm actually doing two videos today, but uh, I went to the pet section and check this out. I found two Jaws fish tank uh, decoration things. So here's the first one, right? Look at that. It is a Jaws um, like little cave that you can sit in the fish tank. That's pretty cool. So you could either have it this way, I guess. Um, so the fish or whatever can swim in and out, or you can even have it here coming out of the ground. But that is very cool. Look at that. And it wasn't bad. It was like uh, like ten bucks, nine ninety nine, and I was like, oh my god, that is so cool. Uh, Jaws is definitely one of my favorite uh, summer horror flicks, and you can't go wrong with Jaws. It's just just an awesome movie and it's a classic. But look at that, Bruce the shark, right? That's pretty cool. They actually had Jurassic Park ones there too, but uh, Jaws uh, Jaws kind of trumps Jurassic Park, at least for me. So, and so that's the first one, but look at the second one. This one is actually really cool too. We got another one. So here's the Jaws tag. And we actually have where Jaws is attacking the orca. Look at that. That is freaking amazing, right? So you got Bruce the shark coming out. It would have been cool if they had like a little mini Quint up in there, but uh, it's still nonetheless, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, look at it. He's, he's attacking the orca. And you know that, that famous scene at the end where poor Quint gets eaten at the end of it. But look at that. That is pretty cool that they were able to come out with some fish tank uh, decorations for Jaws. So, pretty cool, huh? Look at that. Got Bruce coming out of the water. You got the waves. And then the orca right there. Pretty cool. All right, guys. So, we're going to be looking at this. So, so the, I only knew about this one scene. This other scene, I didn't even know up until recently. And... Um, it's pretty crazy because you know how jaws was filmed and everything you know less is more right and a lot of people like jaws the way it is i love jaws the way it is however i wish they would have kept these two uh scenes in the movie which we're going to take a look at now so if we start the video this isn't gonna, this isn't going to pop up on your screen this is actually popping up on mine but it says the scenes were deleted from jaws because they were so shocking that the test audience were hyperventilating for 20 minutes after the attack scene so this first scene is where we have Alex Kittner. This is um, where he's swimming out into the, you know, into the beach. But that picture right here, that black and white, I'm going to pause it for a little bit just so I can talk about it. But that picture right there is terrifying. Now, this movie is the one movie and it's the reason that I don't go to the beach. Well, I go to the beach, but I don't go more than my waist deep into the, into the water, even though sharks can still attack you waist deep into the water for me i can't i can't even turn my back uh towards the water it's just creepy but looking at this shot right here is just absolutely terrifying and i wish they kept this in the video because the alex kittner scene you can kind of see they did delete it out because when he's attacked in the movie you just see the fins and you know kind of the distress that's going on there but look at that that is just creepy right all right so we're gonna hit play so you guys can see this was the scene right there where he's just comes out the water and grabs him that is creepy uh and then there you go you can see kind of the kind of distress that's going on there with alex kittner getting eaten and all that good stuff but that is so crazy i'm gonna go ahead and kind of rewind it because i want i want to see that again um just that shark look at that boom one more time and it's probably i'm gonna have it replayed so you guys can see just the just the how it comes out of the water like that and it grabs him off the off the raft that is just absolutely terrifying and honestly i think um if we would have kept that in the movie that would have just been awesome like i wish they would come out with an edit to where they they have that scene in there but uh you know looking at the footage is kind of grainy i mean it's old footage but just that shark coming out of the water like that is just terrifying um and then you know like i said we go into uh the rest of the alex kittner death there but pretty creepy right yeah i gotta say that is woo, for a shark to do that and i mean i can see why people back then would have been hyperventilating okay so the next scene that we're going to be looking at 
this is the one that I just recently found out about and I actually saw. So there was a part where, you know, they're at the beach and they're at the boats and you see this guy here um, asking if they're okay because they're trying to get their sail or whatever done. And you see Jaws or Bruce coming up and he knocks him out of the boat. So we got the picture there, he falls out of the water and then you got all the kids, which is, it's so crazy. And then we see Shark, that scene right there where you can see Jaws coming up and grabbing him from the leg, it was pretty terrifying. So we see him uh, stressing out over there. We got some still shots of that of the extra of the scene where we got him coming attacking, which is creepy. Look at that. Uh uh nope. I think this movie is the reason why I have a little bit. I suffer from submechanophobia because that shit is just creepy. All right, and then we got this right here. So this is the deleted scene. This is where where Jaws is actually grabbing the guy and dragging him along, and it gets into Brody's. He grabs Brody's son, and he's just going for the ride. And you can kind of see the, the fake blood and stuff going all over the place. That is so creepy. He's being dragged and then he goes ahead and escapes. So, yeah, it makes sense that at the end of that scene that he was kind of like shocked. Like another still shot there. Um, you know, he was just overall um, freaking out and shocked over that. I would be shocked, too, if that shark was bringing a guy over and then I get grabbed. Like that is just absolutely terrifying. We're going to rewind it again. We'll kind of have it play again so you guys can see. But look at that. That is so cool. It's cool and it's creepy at the same time. Like, I, I wish... I wonder because since it was a deleted scene for the audience, they had to have had this film all together, right? I mean, they're deleted scenes. So I would imagine they would have had um, those scenes in that test video at some point. And then when they saw that the audience reacted to the way they did, uh, they said, yeah, no, we're going to take that out. So... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I wanted to do that video because those those two scenes, I think, are... Be careful, my dog's going to knock over my guitar. Um, those two scenes are really awesome and they're creepy. Now, I know a lot of people say less is more and, you know, the movies, you know, find the way it is, um, which it is. But for for me, I, I would have definitely loved to see that extra stuff just because Jaws is such a good movie. I love Jaws. Uh, great white sharks. I love all of that. And uh, to see that extra, like kick in there i think would have just been awesome but uh yeah those were the two uh scenes like i said that first one with alex kittner that one's been going around for a while i'm sure the other one has as well but i just actually just came across it just a couple days ago when i was looking at that deleted scene of alex kittner for this video but that second scene is is, is something i mean you got a shark you got bruce right and obviously the guy is in his mouth like this and he's just pushing that guy along as he's attacking it's it's so crazy so definitely that's that's pretty cool um you know i'm not a big fan of when they do remakes and things like that um however i think jaws if they did it right with the right cast and the right people i think uh they can pull it off but if they did remake jaws i would definitely want to see those two scenes in that movie uh you can keep it the same whatever you want to do but if you add those two scenes in there i think it's going to be very powerful uh just especially with you know the shark attacks that you do see um you know you know it's a shark and uh to see that all come together and the different attacks and stuff are would be pretty cool so uh but for the most part that's it guys i just wanted to share those two scenes with you let me know in the comments down below if you guys seen that before i know alex kittner uh the alex kittner scene has been around for a while um and uh well the other one has too but I know Alex Kittner has been talked about more than the other one. But let me know if you guys seen him before. Is this something new to you? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Would you have liked to see the whole Jaws film with those two scenes in it or no? So thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I apologize for the crappy lighting, but I kind of wanted to talk through it as I was watching it with you guys. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there. Don't be a monster. And I will see you guys later. Take it easy.